going on YouTube? Welcome to a very first vlog today. We are training back and we're just about to have our pre-workout meal. Four pieces of wheat picks. We got a bit of honey, probably put 15 grams and 200 grams of almond milk. So reason being is just super convenient. Fast acting carbs. Bro, honestly, that looks fucking disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> that looks terrible, man. Mmm, nice and soggy wheat picks. Oh, we'll see it tastes so much better than a fucking wheat Bro, wheat picks are funny. Mm. Anabolic fucking lighting. Nah, dude, my arms are fucking small. But I mean, this is what happens when you're off cycle. Imagine just filming content, getting swole as fuck, and making some gains and money, man. Like, this is what I want to do for life. Oh fuck! Alright, so we are here at Speed and Grange Revolution. Shout out to fucking Coach Greg for sending this through. You do want to give it a crack. Amazing fucking flavor. Use the link in the bio. I've tried so many different fucking pre-workouts. And I'm not just saying this because like Greg is that's a sick hunt and I'm sponsored by him. But it actually tastes pretty good, like no cap. Um, I don't normally take pre-workout because it fucks with my sleep, but it's earlier in the day, so we're gonna have one scoop. And one scoop's only 175 megs of caffeine. So it's not too much, but I'm very caffeine sensitive because I stopped taking it for like a couple months. Just to give the body a bit of a break and like caffeine tolerance to drop because I was taking it all the time and I became a little bit too dependent on it. Always mix your pre-workout if you can with water just because some properties and ingredients need water to like transport properly and activate. I probably won't be speaking too much. It's super loud in here and I don't like to talk anyways because um, I get super distracted when I'm training. I really like to focus and zone in. So I'll probably put a montage or something together so you guys can follow along. Maybe do a voiceover, just some instructional shit so maybe you can learn a thing or two. But anyways, we'll get straight into it. I'll see you in the gym. Today's our main back day where we focus on developing back thickness, starting off with four sets of five to eight reps with rack pulls. Ideally, you wanna get a bit more range of motion, but the rack didn't go any lower. Honestly, it was a little bit frustrating. I don't normally train here, so the equipment is very different to my normal gym, and exercise selection did vary slightly from what I typically would do. Do notice the retraction of my scapula, and it happens very fast, but my core and glutes are also braced. Then we moved on to four sets of chest supported T-bar rows to really target that mid back. Keeping the tempo slow and controlled, pulling with our elbows, really focusing on the contraction of the upper section of our mid back. Experiment with your grip positioning and find which handle allows the most muscle recruitment for you. So here I'm telling Clorai to tuck and rotate his elbows as he progresses throughout the movements to really focus on the upper portion of the mid back. I have really bad left arm and delt mobility. I have been seeing a physio to help fix it. Shout out to my homie and client Al from Movie Rehab. For muscle and training related pains or injuries, I highly recommend checking out a physio instead of a chiro. And for the third exercise of today is the infamous lat pull down. We're using this to again focus on our mid back. You'll notice my scapula retract and my mid back engage before we even commence with any reps. Nice and slow controlled reps. Forearms tend to give up before your back. That's totally normal. It's a smaller muscle group. Then to top it off, we have some cable rows, four sets of 10 reps. You can do this seated or in a cable station. I've been really liking this variation due to the line of pull, so I've been sticking to it. I like to roll my shoulders forward for a greater range of motion, but don't overdo this, otherwise muscle tension will transition towards your traps. Then we have the preacher curls. I currently have a forearm injury, so I've been quite restricted with my choice of movements. After watching back the video, I did drop the weight the next set. I didn't realize how short the movement was. I usually use a pin loaded variant, but this gym didn't have that unfortunately. Find a comfortable range of motion where your bicep short head feels the most stress. The goal of this movement is to help increase bicep thickness. Then we move on to unilateral hammer curls. Try to keep your elbow and shoulders locked. Personally, I prefer having my arms at a 120 degree angle for my torso. I feel the brachialis and long head contraction a lot more. Find what feels best for you and don't be afraid to experiment. Then finally, we have the cable curls. Again, having your arms at an angle of 120 degrees from your torso, trying to focus on the long head activation to help develop that peak. Keep your elbows and shoulders locked and try to avoid using too much momentum. And here's me, a complete natty spec, been off cycle for about seven months now. We did do rear delts off camera, but that pretty much concludes our main back day of the week. Uh, so we just finished off our training session. Um, it was all right, you know, like I get really distracted trying to do multiple things at once. Fuck, that exposure is high. Let's bump up the shutter speed. Fuck, sorry, bro. Men's vlogging right now. My bad. Got more important shit to do. But yeah, no, like out of 10, it was probably a fucking five, five and a half. I hate gym hopping sometimes just because I like using the same equipment over and over again because I'm so familiar and I have a particular way of training. And when you go to a different gyms, it's, it's very fucking different all the time. Um, so it gets a little bit frustrating sometimes uh, I couldn't track or or log any any of my lifts so I kind of got frustrated <laughs> um, 
make it burrito bowl, please. Just a regular size. Yeah, what yep. would you like? Chicken. Chicken, chicken, if that's right. Yeah. What's that, sorry? That's happy. Yes, please. If you're out and about, Guzman is such a great alternative. Many I've plugged them so many fucking times, I need to get sponsored, bro. Yeah, every time you whip out a camera in public, everybody just kind of looks at you fucking differently. I just wish it was more, it was more normalized here, yeah. but not many people do it. Like, LA is the place to be, man. We need to go to LA. I haven't hit a video over 1 million views in a long time. I'm almost about to hit 1 mil on um... But your videos that hit 1 mil is like positive. Like my videos that hit 1 mil, so yeah. I'm talking shit, you know what I mean? I'm just like, fuck you, fuck that guy, and fuck your mom. Yeah, it's but it's true. funny. I'm just keeping gonna... it real, man. Honestly, fuck Drew. Say to her face. I will. Drew, I'm gonna call you out, bitch. But like the fact that you turned the whole conversation to misogyny, like shut the fuck up, man. No one cares about your advice. No one gives a- dude. Nobody gives a fuck about the videos that are actually educational. No, I put course. so much time and effort with research, with well, actual no, research. I don't know, take that back because look at JPG coaching. Because like, oh, there's a like whole, there's like, a whole, this, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. He, he was yeah. literally like, fuck the T-Bar Rose, yeah. fuck this, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he blew up. So just got home from Liverpool, it was about an hour drive. Everything in Sydney is so fucking far apart. And it literally takes like an hour to get to anywhere here. It fucking suck. If you all enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments and hit the thumbs up and I'll keep making some more videos. Hopefully you learned a thing or two or just found it entertaining. And if this shit pops off, I'll keep doing it and hopefully transition from TikTok to YouTube. Eventually, that's the main goal. And I don't know if a lot of y'all know, but I'm sponsored by DUE even and they're having a massive sale. I'll leave my code in the description below. And every time you guys use it, it gives me 10% commission. And I like to keep shit real and transparent and that's why I'm letting you know. Because this is what I do full time. I create content, I do online coaching, I create videography, photography for businesses, other influencers. I don't make crazy amounts with the discount code, but it does help. Again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate the love and support and until next time.